there we go, there's a guy, and they're taking these lasers and they're shining them right into people's eyes. And there's a reason why this is like a really bad idea. And I see a lot of people saying, well, what's the problem? You know, these are just cat toys. Can't they just blink, you know? And the answer to that is no, <laughs> you can't. So what exactly is going on and why is that a bad idea? Uh, it's a bad idea because one, those aren't really cat toys that they're messing around with. Hold on, let me put a little bit of fog in the air. So to go back to this video for a second, this guy is shining a laser and it's not a laser pointer. Let me show you what a laser pointer is. Th these guys that I have right here uh, in my hand, these are, these are laser pointers. So these are very lightweights. They run on AAA batteries and there's even a CDRH warning label at the end of the laser. And if you have good eyesight, you can see that this is a class three laser product, less than five milliwatts. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So here, there is a, there is your class three laser. The problem is the protesters aren't using lasers like these, okay? They're using something like this, <laughs> okay? This is a very, very different type of laser right here. This isn't a five milliwatt laser. This would be a 1,000 milliwatt laser. So let's take a look at that beam. Look at that thing. That's a, that's a very, very, very bright beam. You know, so you don't want that in your eye, okay? And I'll tell you why. There's a couple of reasons. Um, here's the red one to kind of give you a comparison, right? Let's look at the visual spectrum here for a second. This is the way your eyeball sees light. You start with the reds, your eyes start seeing red, and then your uh, greens in the middle, and then it diminishes out to the ultraviolets, and then you can't see the frequencies after that or before that. But your eye responds to greens because they are in the middle of the visual spectrum. This part of the eye, this is the very sensitive part of the eye. You probably heard that law enforcement got blinded or something, like three law enforcement officers got blinded by lasers. I don't think they got fully blinded. It's, it's not that easy to blind someone completely with one of these things, but what will happen is, so when, when you're at a laser show and the laser's doing this stuff and it's moving around and it's like doing, doing a laser show and it crosses your eye, it might flash, but the energy is being spread out. It's called scanning, right? Scanning. You're not even supposed to do that. You could do that with these smaller lasers. You see that in clubs all the time. They'll scan with these lasers. That's okay because if the scanner stopped and the laser came to rest and it happened to be on your eye, it would not do any damage. But when you get to these brighter lasers and they stop, there is a lens inside of your eye and it could take the, the so, so one of the things that's cool about lasers is that they're coherent light. The frequencies are all aligned, you know. This is the laser output and it's shining. So when this beam comes in and it hits your eyeball, there is a lens in your eyeball that will take these frequencies, these wavelengths, and focuses, focus them down to a single pinpoint on the back of your optic nerve and you can flash fry individual rods and cones instantly. There is no hesitation. A blink reflex will not defeat that, right? You blinking isn't gonna stop that from happening, right? Any more than if, you, if someone took a flash photo of you and you tried to blink, it doesn't matter. The flash got in there, it affected your eye, and now every time you try to focus on something, you see a big black spot where your, your center of vision would be. That's what's happening with these things, but it's permanent, right? So when I see some asshole at a protest shining these into people's eyes, I want to go kick him in the nuts. You shouldn't be doing that. It's not a good idea. And you should go to jail. This, this will really F up somebody's eye. Really, really bad. So let's look at laser classifications for a second. Class two lasers are under one milliwatt. Class three lasers are one to five milliwatts. A class 3B laser is between 5 to 500 milliwatts, and then above 500 milliwatts, you're talking class 4 lasers. So 500 milliwatts, you can just call that half a watt. Anything above a half watt laser causes eye injury. I mean a high chance of causing eye injury. Class 3B lasers will also mess up your eye, but when you get above that half watt range, the chances just go way up. Like I said, this is a 1 watt laser. This would, this would be right in this area right here, okay? Yeah, now you can kind of see, like, you don't want to put this in your eye, guys. It's very bad, especially if you're just trying to hold it there on a person's eye. That is so horrible. That is, like, really bad, guys. Well, Todd, you know, the cop shouldn't be killing people. I, I agree. You can agree to two things at once. You know, you don't have to... 
you, you can be against blinding people with lasers and against police brutality. They, they aren't exclusive. You, you, can, you can be against both. All right, uh, hey, Ghost Shaman, you helped just by being here, okay? You helped just by being here. But I do hope that you got some good information about lasers and why you shouldn't shine them in people's faces. If you guys are doing that, uh, please stop. It's really, really not cool.